I will see the next command uh, in toolpath, to the toolpath that is uh, smart engraving. Smart engraving also similar to that of the area clearance. Here uh, in, uh, uh, some extra options are available like uh, vector R on surface or we can also define the outer vectors or boundary like that. So the tool will differentiate accordingly that now it go little bit inside or outside like that. So sometimes it is most required while we want to engrave very small items. So let us see how it works. So generally as usual we have to give the final depth how much depth that engraving has to do. So we are giving some 1 mm engraving depth. Okay, then we can keep this vector on vector on, on surface like that whatever the vector of this uh, uh, this line okay you can see they say there is a line is that that is that engraving should happen inside the line or outside the line or the tool has to exactly touch the line in the bottom or in the top like that uh, options are coming so outer vectors are boundary so the, what happen is that then the tool will not uh, if it is a tapper tool or the conical tool the, the as as it goes more depth automatically the tool start coming inside because at the tip it will be just touching that line and when it goes more down then the center distance because the tool's diameter increases because it's a conical tool so that adjustment it, we can do it with the smart engraving tool so here we can uh, for engraving generally we use um, uh, VB tool uh, sorry this conical conical type tools so if we can also do engraving with the flat flat mill also but it, it will be uh, for the bigger size engraving but here normally small engraving we will be using small conical tools okay so for that uh, only we can uh, understand the difference and okay depend upon the taper of the tools the tool will go come inside see if we leave is now you can see that the tool tool will be working inside the boundary line okay if you put it then tool will uh, leave the, the the leave the line it will never touch the line so extra material will be left out here you can see that some extra material will according to the taper of the tool so that kind of small adjustment you can do with the smart engraving otherwise it works as in the same way as area clearance tool here a step down uh, we can give uh, also depend upon how much is the depth so more depth means uh, we have to and also the material that depend upon the material what we are going to machine so i am giving this some point too like that uh, suppose we are working on a metal so we will be giving very less uh, engraving otherwise the tip will go fast so like this uh, so whatever these parameters and all we will not be considering here because this will be all uh, read by the uh, already setting setting in the machine so that we are generally not counting on this to depend upon the machine or the what are the setting you have done with the controller so uh, generally we are not bothered about uh, giving this sit here because we can override all what all value here with the controller controller itself we can set the feed rate what should be the maximum feed rate and all those things we can control it so proportionately it will run uh, from there okay here uh, also the uh, tool play, uh, uh, tool clear we can go for raster or we can go for off offset so offset means it according to the profile it will just go around with the profile and also we have some options like that do corner sharpening see there is a sharp corner is there for for that it separately it will go the uh, and uh, do the machining so You can do those kind of things. So uh, normally it's used for small type engraving where we want more finish. Like that, generally for 
uh, mold engraving and all no metal engraving we can use these strategies so i will uh, elaborate uh, on it uh, in more detail in one more class so this uh, this much basic thing is required to run this program uh, one more is that material setup as usual we can give the material setup okay and then you can give that engrave okay, engrave calculate so so you can simulate it and see you can see it okay, to this engraving done so okay, you can see that there, there is some steps is forming and also so this all we can uh, with that depend upon the tool what we are going to select now now you can see that these all places there is more width there so tool can go more depth here the limitation is there because the tool is not able to go deep because the width is less here so that kind of situation uh, will give not a perfect uh, output but we can use it with the controller uh, with the other options available in the program so generally this kind of clearance we can do with the area clearance also we can do that for general purpose we will be doing with the area clearance also. this is an extra command but you have to use this with a lot of trial and error and because more, when more options are available then we should know which option will be most suitable to this particular kind of applications like that so i will uh, dwell upon these points in in another class for as a beginning this is more than enough you, you if you have a special doubts on this you can also mail to me or put in the comment box i will uh, try to bring it as a class and can clear the doubts. Thank you.